Hi, I'm Victoria. Welcome to my beautiful, wonderful, positive channel full of encouraging energy and vibrations that you can't, you can't fake. That's what I'm here for, for you. <laughs> but if you guys know me, you know that that was all a lie. Hi, I'm Victoria Rose. Welcome to my timid, traveling, autistic, don't know what the fuck I'm doing, girl, life. I just realized that my flight is not, in fact, Friday. It's Thursday, which that means I have a day to do everything I need to do. I went to T-Mobile to ask them about an international plan because T-Mobile doesn't unlock their phone too easily. Ah, they didn't have one. I also wanted to get the iPhone 13, but guess what? That's not in stock for months. On this channel, like I said, we're all about the goodness and the positivity in the world. I woke up this morning to some emails. Uh, it was an email about the check-in of my hotel that I booked in London. You know, not, nothing too bad about that, right? Wrong! So I, I just woke up and I was looking through my emails and just realized all at once that the hotel that I got doesn't have Wi-Fi or bathrooms apparently and everything's shite. <laughs> but I didn't read the reviews. I got the cheapest budget hotel in London. <laughs> And I'm freaking out a lot because it's I can't cancel the hotel. I won't have Wi-Fi. Did I say that? I don't even know what I said. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. I don't know what happened. I don't know what to do. I'm not a happy camper, but I basically will be camping in this budget hotel because they don't have anything. It's just in an okay location, but they have nothing. And I'm not being bougie. It's just these types of things. Stays are so stressful to me because. Yeah, I require some things. Sorry, I live on a street. I paid eight hundred dollars to live in squalor for twelve for twelve days. Why? I won't even get Wi-Fi or a bathroom. This is how I wake up in the mornings, by the way, full of anxiety and hopelessness. I shouldn't be vlogging right now, but I want to express how stressed I am, and I feel like I'm gonna puke. I don't sleep. <laughs> Shouldn't be surprised here. I did get the cheapest hotel that wasn't a hostel in London. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be smart this time because you know how I always am, am switching around hotels. I'm gonna get it once. Yeah, it's non-refundable, but I'm just gonna book the whole thing for the whole entire stay there for two weeks. So I did that. It's non-refundable. Let's go to London and stay in the worst squalorish hotel there <laughs> by accident. I'm forced to now. There's, I have no other option. I'm leaving in a day. Just another fact is that I ordered a lot of things on Amazon for before I left to pack, but none of them arrived. Even though they said delivered, I called Amazon and they <sighs> said, whoopsies. Um, I went and got my face micro needle. This is completely not the point of this video at all, but I wanted to show you that because I said that I would. Um, so I wanted to show you just kind of the process and this is what it looks like today. <laughs> um, I would say I would recommend it. It was all good, a good experience. I went in. Lady was super knowledgeable. I did two sessions. It came around to like 400 some dollars, which is a lot, but it was microneedling and ra radio frequency, so it's two combined. And the healing took a week each. It was miserable. My lips are really numb and I'm just trying to lay low because I look and like my skin is so puffy. My face feels so weird. My mouth is completely numb, like it's all numb. It was very painful. Basically microneedling is um, putting a bunch of needles to your face. Also I got it combined with radio frequency. I'm just supposed to go a bit deeper into the skin and just help with like scarring and just skin texture and stuff like that. This is without a filter and I usually have filters on my videos so it, <laughs> my skin is you know worse than you think that it is. This is, this is worse than, this is worse than uh, t getting tattooed. Hello, it's day two. It's been a full 24 hours since I got to micro needling radio frequency. I have makeup on right now so that's why I can't really tell but my face is still kind of swollen see the swollenness and I'm getting a breakout right here. Oh, it's itchy. I haven't updated in a while. It's been like 
um, it's been a week now actually because I was concerned that there was like track marks on my face, but they're actually healing and going away. I asked the lady who did it and she said, this part of the healing process, this is without any makeup. Wow, it has been a long time. It's been another month since I've even vlogged at all. It healed and it really did help my face. Like I'm not lying. Um, so now I'm just going for the second one. All right, here we are. It's time to undergo much pain and torture in the sake of beauty. This is not pretty time. It's, this is day three and oh God. This is gonna take like an entire, more than a week to go away. It's still kind of swollen. Okay, so I put on a little bit of makeup and um, just a little bit, but you can still see it look like sandpaper face with spots. Um, it was very painful and then the, the healing took a week and it was annoying because I didn't want to go out because my face was all sandy. But yeah, I would recommend it if you're wanting to get your acne scars taken care of. Yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there because some of you were interested in it. There you go, there's my very raw very scary face and I have filters on whenever I, I edit my videos to where I kind of smooth things out because I'm very close to the camera at all times. So that is scary, I'm sorry, but there you have it. But I've had severe acne when I was a teenager and young adult, so left a lot of scars. Uh, let's change scenes because this isn't even that comfortable for me. I was just trying to look nice. This is, it's a sham. I never sit out here. I don't know. I don't know if this is flattering or not. Probably not. This whole video is... So... So I need to pack. I haven't even thought about that at all because uh, I have like sponsorships and editing and stuff that I've been doing and the, the date just snuck right up on me. So I got this stuff that I wanted to show you that I thought was really futuristic and cool. Let's 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 go to cool tour. You know my YouTube is very pathetic. I'll admit it. Labeling things the timid traveler makes me cringe a lot. But it's just honest. Like I'm a mess 70 I mean 97% of the time. I just need to be authentic about that. But there are some parts that are cool. Like I can edit to make me look cool. <laughs> but you get what you get here. Uh, so I did get some cool stuff though. I'm really interested in futuristic stuff, cyberpunk. As you guys know, uh, you don't see it as much on my YouTube channel, but I'm pretty obsessed. So I want to show you some things that I got that fit along those lines. This is not sponsored at all. I just thought they were really cool. And I, you know, I never get fancy things. So this brand that I'm working with for uh, Instagram sent me a bunch of stuff and I just want to show you. This is my new wallet. Look how light it is. And this is where you put in the cards. So you just push this up and you can fit up to 12 cards in here. And then you put your money in this money strap. I don't need a man anymore. I have pockets with my tech wear, which I'm gonna show you a tech wear outfit just to, to show you how this all works together. And then I have a wallet now. So I can put that in my pocket. I don't even need like a, I still need a purse, but like, this is a fancy thing. I don't even know what, I don't even know. Like, look at it, it's so small, but it's like lots of good quality. I don't remember what the quality is, but it is. Also, I, I, I got a pen from, I'm getting a pen from them eventually when they're back in stock that is zero gravity, writes underwater, super futuristic. I don't know why I need to write underwater. I don't know how I'd find paper underwater. And if I go into space, can write with it. I'm not sure the special things about this pen, but it's titanium, it's heavy, it's fancy, it's expensive. I don't know the details about it, but I, I'm pretty sure this is probably the best quality pen in the world because this is like a $150 pen and I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with this pen? I haven't even written with it yet, let's try it. I hope this interests you. And actually this is a really great brand. They're super kind people and they're like high quality, so I don't mind. It doesn't feel like normal ink. How does this work? I don't know what's going on with it. It's cool. Um, probably has a lot more interesting things about it, but I'm too lazy to read. Can you show knives on YouTube? Yeah, people cook and stuff. Okay, so then I got this, which I'm super excited about. I finally have a pocket knife. I am full autistic now. <laughs> just, that was a joke. This is a sharp thing. 
drop point, D2 steel blade, carbon fiber, 3K toe twill weave. I don't know what any of that means, but I feel, I feel futuristic with all this. I don't think I can travel with this, so this isn't relevant to the video. I, I don't think I'm gonna take that with me. That would probably get in trouble, but I can take this wallet and I'm taking my pen to fill out the custom forms on the plane. And then I got this really nice backpack, which I had, um, I looked up, there's this weird pocket in the back and I looked it up, RFID blocking pocket. So interesting. Like this stuff to me is very interesting because it's like, it's futuristic, it's techy and I'm so excited. Like, look, put that in there. I'm gonna use this as maybe for my camera. I, I paid for a suitcase as well, which was most of my flight. My flight was around like $300 and I'm like, yes, pretty cheap. And then I realized I had to pay like, nearly $200 for the, the suitcase and that's how they get you. So. Ow, my ankle still hurts from whatever I heard it. It still does hurt. You don't understand the state of my closet. Uh, so this is my closet. Um, pretty messy, pretty dirty. Don't know what I'm gonna take with me. <laughs> oh. You know, sometimes you just need an inversion. Blood flow. <laughs> this video is pointless. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm gonna change into uh, an outfit that I'm gonna take with me. A little bit of my Canadian lane, a little, little bit of complaining like a little bitch. <laughs> this is more cyberpunky than it is tech wear, but anyways, let me show you. Let's do vertical. This is it. This is the outfit of the day that I'm putting on. Probably won't take this with me. Well, I'll take these with me. I put these shoes on just because they're not dirty and I can wear them on the rug. But um, look at those, you know? I can't get myself in the full shot. Dark wear, I guess you call it dark wear cyberpunk outfit. This camera adds 10 pounds, by the way. If I look fatter in this camera, that's why. Than my vlog camera, for sure, 100%. See you in London. This is all I'm packing, just the essentials. Only the things you really need. <laughs> Somebody jump on top to make it close. Close this video. It's more of just, um, it was more of just a vent sesh for me. I feel better. Do you feel okay? Because I, I feel like I unloaded a lot. Um, if you get anything from this video, you can take away that microneedling with radio frequency, worth it if you have the right person to do it. Carbon fiber things on knives, futuristic cool. Um, you can get pens that ran underwater. I'm stressed out and when I'm stressed out, my content suffers, as you can see. Um, there's better content to come. This was not it. <laughs> it hasn't been it for a while. I can't make good stuff all the time or any of the time. Have a great day. I'm gonna see you in London, England. I'm actually going for the reason of going on a date with Layla, and I think I really need that. Thanks for checking right. in and- nice No worries, friend, no worries. I'll talk to you soon. All right, you're the best. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye. We're still, well, this is an adventure still. It's still an adventure. We're going, we're going back across the pond and I'm kind of nervous about it because it's been a year since I've been over the UK. Have a great day. Stay extraterrestrial.